I went one day in the winter um, with some friends from the art school to um, the Waldorf um, uh, cafeteria across the street from the campus, which is now, um, which was torn down for the British Art Center. Um, and there I met Louis Kahn because he was working on the gallery. I didn't know who he was, but, um, but I just remembered this amazing man that we'd picked up um, on the way in the snow because he was slipping and sliding in the snow. He didn't have any galoshes or anything. And so we scooped him up and he was wearing, um, but he was wearing a great big uh, raccoon coat. Um, but just arriving in the Waldorf, settling down, we all had coffee, and then he began to talk, and he talked about art, because these were art students, and it was fascinating until it was dark. I mean, we just were taken with this man, um, and when I got home, I, to my apartment, which was on Crown Street, um, which I shared with Joy Grodsons, who was simply, who was going ahead um, in, in theater and uh, in San Francisco and done very well in her career. Um, I, I wrote down that I had met an amazing man and that was it. And then I didn't, and then I never saw him. I, I had no idea who he was. And then um, years later, with Bob Venturi, when I went um, at a party at Wharton Escherich's house, um, I met Lou Kahn. Again, it was an, a snowy day. And it suddenly occurred to me that I'd seen this man before. And I said, did you have a fur coat? And he said, no. And then he said, well, yes, he remembered once he'd borrowed a fur coat from, from one of the students at Yale. And um, that was the beginning of meeting Lucan. But, um, but I had seen him before. But how could you forget? 